Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh A very good day to all of you Okay, now we will discuss about chapter number 3 So this chapter We will discuss about the gas turbine cycle So in terms of content um, We will discuss uh, About the basic concept of gas turbine engine And then we will discuss about the thermodynamic cycle For the gas turbine engine And the last one we will discuss how to improve the cycle of gas turbine okay okay for detailed content of this topic of this chapter number 3 we will discuss about the gas power cycle about the Brighton cycle and then about the Brighton cycle analysis so and also we will discuss about the effect of pressure ratio and also backward ratio and later on we discuss uh, the difference between the actual and also ideal cycle for gas turbine cycle so because uh, when we discuss about the actual uh, we will have reduction of efficiency then we discuss about the method of how to improve the performance of the Brighton cycle so under this method to improve the performance we will learn about the Brighton cycle plus regeneration and the last one Brighton cycle plus intercooling plus reheating and also plus regeneration process so in general we learn um, into we learn about the gas power cycle or gas turbine engine under uh, three uh, basic or three general subtopic first we will learn about the basic concept of gas power plant cycle and then we discuss about the modern cycle for gas power plant for the idea and also for the actual Brighton cycle and the last one we will discuss about the method to improve the Brighton cycle that consists of regeneration, intercooling, reheating and also regeneration ok ok if you look at this chart the chart for the thermodynamic application so for chapter number 3 actually uh, still under power generation because we discuss about the power plant as we know power plant uh, for this topic for the chapter for the thermodynamic two subject consists of uh, two types first we have gas power plant and the second one is the vapor power plant or steam power plant so for chapter number three we will discuss about the gas power plant okay introduction to gas turbine engine Okay, the figure shows the gas turbine power plant Example for gas turbine power plant So if you look um, at the arrow The arrow shows the gas turbine engine that used in the gas turbine power plant Okay, so if you look in, in, in detail about the gas, gas turbine engine So in terms of the main component involved The gas turbine engine will, will have uh, a compressor a combustion chamber or we call a combustor and also the turbine so we have three main components involved with the gas turbine engine compressor, combustion chamber and also turbine another example of the gas turbine engine application is uh, used by the jet engine ok so if you look at the figures at the back of the jet jet fighter jet so the fighter jet use two uh, unit of gas turbine engine ok I show in the figure so if you look um, the what I call the close the cross section drawing for the engine if you look into detail so the engine also will have same main component similar as the gas turbine engine that used in gas turbine power plant so the engine will have turbine compressor and also the combustor or the combustion chamber ok so these are um, an introduction to the gas turbine engine in terms of the main component of the engine ok for gas power cycle so we discuss about the uh, call the specific thermodynamic cycle that represent the gas power cycle or the uh, 
the power cycle for gas turbine engine and also the power cycle for the gas power plant ok for gas turbine power cycle we will discuss about two different um, power cycle first we discuss about the Carnot cycle so the figure shows the TS diagram uh, for the Carnot cycle that involves four states and also four processes and in terms of explanation this Carnot cycle uh, we already learned and we already discussed when we discussed about chapter number 2 under internal combustion engine so in terms of Carnot cycle uh, the explanation will be the same as the explanation for the Carnot cycle in internal combustion engine ok so um, the what I call the purpose that we discussed about Carnot cycle actually uh, we, we discussed uh, due to the uh, Carnot cycle is the highest performance that can be achieved by the gas turbine uh, engine so we will use the Carnot cycle as the standard or the comparison with the Brighton cycle later on and the next cycle we will discuss about the Brighton cycle so this Brighton cycle actually is a specific thermodynamic cycle for the gas turbine engine including the gas turbine power cycle sorry, including the gas turbine power plant so we will use for gas turbine engine and, and also for gas turbine power plant in terms of cycle we will use Brighton cycle uh, in terms of analysis ok for, for the gas turbine engine and also for the gas turbine power plant ok so in the slide shows the TS diagram for the Brighton cycle where we can see that generally we have four state four different states involved and also four processes four different processes involved for the Brighton cycle ok so both the S diagram for the Carnot and also Brighton cycle actually refer to the simplified schematic diagram of the gas turbine engine as shown in the slide so this schematic diagram actually uh, the diagram that I already simplified from the actual gas turbine engine so in general we have four components involved four components involved such as a compressor a first heat exchanger where we have heat addition process the third component we have turbine a turbine and the last one we have the second heat, heat exchanger where we allow heat rejection process um, in the Brighton cycle ok so later on we will go into detail in terms of processes formula and also the analysis involved is the Brighton cycle ok now it's about the analysis of power cycle analysis of power cycle so the analysis of power cycle actually consists of the analysis for the actual cycle and also the analysis for the ideal cycle so in chapter number 2 we already discussed about the difference between the actual cycle and also the ideal cycle why we call the cycle as the actual cycle we already described the criteria or the factors that involve the actual cycle and also why we call the cycle as an ideal cycle and in terms of criteria we also discussed already discussed about the criteria for the ideal cycle and we will use the ideal cycle in order to simplify the process that involved in the actual cycle for the gas turbine engine ok so in detail about the criteria for each actual cycle and also the ideal cycle we are discussed in chapter number 2 for the IC engine so uh, you need to refer to the uh, vi to my video for the chapter number 2 about the analysis of power cycle ok so the, exp the explanation will be the same ok similarly with the S standard assumption because the substance inside the gas turbine engine is uh, what we call the gas so the same concept for the S standard assumption we will use for the gas turbine engine and the explanation for the S standard assumption is similar with the S standard assumption that we discussed uh, in chapter number 2 for IC engine ok so please refer to chapter number 2 for the explanation for the S and the assumption so we use exactly the same S and the assumption um, and we apply the same assumption for the gas turbine engine cycle ok 
Okay, for a standard assumption, there are two um, main cases that involve, as I as I mentioned in chapter number two. For chapter number three, under gas turbine engine power cycle, also we need to implement uh, these two cases. First cases is for the variation of spe specific heat with temperature, where for this case we need to use the ideal gas of air table and we cannot use equation involved with CV and also CP ok so in order to determine for example enthalpy um, what we call the internet energy and so on if uh, include in the equation for the Brighton cycle so we need to determine the parameters by using the ideal gas of air table ok the second one will involve is constant specific heat with temperature which means um, the case is same as the case for the cold air standard assumption where we assume that the air constant specific heat at room temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and we need to use the value uh, the, the what we call the constant value of CV and also CP so for this case for the second case we cannot use the other gas of air table and what we can do to solve the problem involved with this case we need to use the suitable equation that involves with CV and also CP so you, you have to remember these two cases in order to solve the problem involved with uh, gas turbine uh, power cycle ok so if, you, if the question mentioned of, about the variation of specific heat with temperature so you need to use the other gas of air table if the problem of the or the question I mentioned about the constant specific heat with temperature so you need to use specific equation involved with CV and also CP so if in the actual problem or in real problem involved with the gas power cycle or involved with the um, gas turbine engine gas turbine power plant or Brighton cycle if the problem or the situation doesn't mention about any cases so actually you can use both whether you can use variation of specific heat with temperature by using other gas of air table or you can use constant specific heat with temperature however in terms of the accuracy you will get more accurate data or more accurate result if you use uh, what I call the ideal gas of air table however if you use the second case the constant specific heat the value will be still acceptable for your uh, for the estimation of efficiency for the Brighton cycle or for the gas turbine engine power cycle Okay, so you need to remember that okay for for Carnot cycle I will not go into detail because we already discussed uh, in chapter number two so you need to refer to uh, my video for the chapter number two okay for the IC engine cycle okay so this slide shows the explanation for the Carnot cycle and for the explanation please refer to my video for chapter number two Okay, the explanation will be the same.